Hey, hey, y'all, it's Kathy Joe. How you doing? <laughs> okay, right here, I got one of those little signs. It's a tag sign back from Easter. And I'm, I messed this up, y'all. Messed it up big time. I had the camera on when it was supposed to be off and had it off when it was supposed to be on. So I flipped it over and I just took a cheapy brush and crimson red chalk paint and just brushed it lightly over the tag. Then I took rust-oleum linen white chalk paint and the chippy brush another chippy brush and brushed it over it again and i got those three little uh chicken pig cow things from dollar general and i'm just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and some wire cutters and plug them all fair and then i painted i sanded them down and then i painted them with ink waverly chalk paint and then I'm going to take Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Linen white chalk paint. Good gravy. It's already starting, y'all. It just never fails for me. And I'm just going to go around the edge and outline it in white. So I painted them black, and I'm going to outline them in white. I think I have my camera situation fixed here. I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't know me. Because I think I like showed y'all me doing one of them. The whole video isn't like this. Don't worry. Yeah, I showed y'all me doing one of them, and then off camera when I thought I was off camera I didn't know. oh who cares so anyway I'm just gonna take some hot glue and glue my pig on my cow and my chicken on my pig now I should have put the cow on the pig because the pig is better better <laughs> bigger than the cow oh did that even make sense I don't know I don't make any sense y'all I appreciate y'all for being so good to me and watching my videos because I mean I'm literally a hot mess and right here, I'm just putting more paint on it. I don't know why, because I thought I liked it. Anyway, so I got the wooden beads from Amazon. And I have the, those red beads. I bought them back um, at Christmas time at Walmart. I've been using a tar. I love them. And I took four of the red ones and brushed white paint over it lightly. And I took three of the 18-inch normal color beads. And I painted them white. I'm so sorry, y'all. This one was so backwards. I hope you get the gist here. Now I'm gonna make a bow. A big old bow. I like big bows and I get in that wow. Anyway, and I got solo wood flowers, you all, and I got a discount code. These flowers are amazing. Y'all need to check them out. It is crazy. I covered the back of my tag there and I put three little solo wood flowers in the center of my bow. Aren't they cute? The wood, y'all. Isn't that cute? Oh, oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh, look at it. Oh, and I put raffia in that. I put red and regular color raffia in with my bow. Okay, y'all. So, right here, I got one of those candlesticks. I actually ended up taking three candlesticks and two of those little bottle cap top signs. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. But you see, okay, they got holes in them where I took out the twine. Now, here's what I do when it's metal. I only do this with metal. Or, yeah, that's it. That's all I do it with. I was trying to show you the holes there. And I take my silicone mat and I press it on the outside. You, you should do it on the outside of the metal piece. I don't know what I'm doing here, y'all. I thought I was going to show you what I did, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh <laughs> there we go sorry um that's silicone that's a little silicone thing and hold it I'm doing it on the inside don't do it that way that's why I showed you this you should put the silicone on the outside of the hole the outside of the hole and then and then put your hot glue on it and it'll make a flat so you can paint over it and you won't see the hole some of y'all probably don't care y'all's like i don't care about no hole kathy joe i could care less about a hole well holes bother me i don't know why so i took that barn red acrylic paint from apple barrel i was gonna say apple bees i like to have some apple bees i'm hungry anyway and i painted those candlesticks four times y'all four times and it just did not work I tried, I did, I tried. Anyway, are you kidding me? 
And then I take Waverly chalk paint in white. I haven't used that in forever. And I paint my bottle cap top lids. Um, I paint both of them. And three of those candlesticks. I'm out of them now. I gotta find some more. These turn out so adorable, y'all. And I didn't paint the underneath. <laughs> I changed my mind. I went ahead and put that crimson Waverly chalk paint on my candlesticks because that other barn, not barnyard, barn red paint just wasn't doing it. So I cut out these two stencils on my Cricut. I'm sorry, you guys. I normally, I try, really, I really do to get a lot of stuff and use it from the Dollar Tree for people who don't have Cricuts. And my printer, I'm got three story house my printer's on the very top one i don't even know if it has ink and then i'd have to learn how to print those things i hope y'all can print them out i'm sorry i don't know what i'm talking about i'm rambling <coughs> anyway i got that transfer paper it's just uh contact paper and i got it from michael's and i've been using it since last september Oh, I celebrated my one year on YouTube, y'all. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think it was July the 12th. I don't know. Anyway, thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. Anyway, so I made two stencils. This one gave me double of time. I want y'all to know, any of y'all out there that have crickets, don't you think it's easy one bit for anybody else? I mean... It gets made to look easy because we can edit out the nonsense and be like, Ah, my brain's about to explode. And y'all don't get to see that mess. But it happens. It happens to all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, look at this one. This one says dairy. The other one said, I think, I don't know what it said, but I just thought it was cute. Look, farm fresh dairy. Oh, my goodness. Those are adorable. Anyway, so I got my paint marker here. And I'm just going to run it up and down the poppy out spots on the candlestick. Y'all know what I mean? The things that are the... Where it's popped out. That's all I know. That's all I... <laughs> I don't understand. I'm sure it's got a name. I don't... <laughs> I take my white paint marker... Oh, goodness. There we go. I'm sorry. I changed that <clears throat> sound. And I don't know why I showed you so much of it. Um, Probably thought I was not filming and I was filming or, you know, wasn't filming and I was I don't know. So, anyway. Here, y'all. Look at this. She's getting so big. She's getting... Look at that. Oh, my goodness. You remember just like two weeks ago I had her on the table and she was this little tiny thing? Now she's becoming a giant. And rotten. Oh, my goodness. Look. She's crazy. Look at her. She's going nuts. Done licking up my face and giving me kisses and stuff. You can't get her to hold still. She barely takes a nap. Um, They gave me a crack dog, y'all. <laughs> I about bugged her eyes out there. Look at that. <laughs> so, I just take hot glue. And I glue my two together. Um, I need to use more permanent glue, but I was in a hurry. And tell y'all that ain't crazy about dogs, I'm sorry. So I take hot glue and I'm gonna stick it, I try to stick it to the middle of my thing, but I messed it up and then I tried to move it. There wasn't no moving it, y'all. It was stuck. But anyway. Anyway, here they are, y'all. I'm sorry. I forgot to add it to the video. Aren't they cute? I love these. Oh my goodness. I love the red and the white and the black. I think they're beautiful. I just do. <clears throat> oh my goodness. That's so cute. Anyway. Okay. I really, really, really wanted to use this. Faith, it does not make things easy. It makes things possible. And I fussy cut all around it. I'm just showing y'all what to do if you don't tear your... <clears throat> Excuse me. Tear yours up like I did. I tore mine up. I went extra. I went way too extra. I had fussy cut it. And then I um got out. I put it back on the paper it came on. Dug it out of garbage. And then I took an X-Acto knife. And I really went in there. I went all around that stuff. And it made it way too thin. 
and I kept not getting it in the spot I wanted to pick it up and lay it down, pick it up and lay it down until finally I picked it up and it broke. I was like, or not broke, it tore. I was so sad. I was like, oh man. Well, anyway, I wanted to lighten it up anyway. So I took some rust oleum linen white chalk paint and I went over it because I didn't want it as, I don't know what the color was. It was more gray. Um, I don't know. So, I just took a chibi brush and lightly went over it to lighten it up, like I said, because I wanted the wood grain still to show. And then I sanded it, which is not wood, but it looks like wood because it's one of the chargers from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to use this Faith, Hope, and Love wall sticker decal from Dollar Tree. Yeah. I've had this one for a while. And it's got these little designs on it. And that love gave me fits, too. I keep saying it gave me fits, but y'all know it's me. And I want to say, if any of y'all don't know Jesus and you want to know him, email me. I'll let you know all about him. Sure will. <laughs> anyway, so I took more of those solar wood flowers, y'all. They're so cute. And I went around my little charger. Oh, my goodness. These are so cute. I love them. They're minis. Are, I think. Put your, mod, if you make this, put your Mod Podge on before you put the flowers on. Have about a habit just slapping things together and then not putting Mod Podge on. It always comes to last. For me anyway, and it shouldn't. Okay, right here I'm going to make a bow. And I'm going to fold it over and make four loops four and then I got that gray one and I'm gonna make five loops and that was by accident <laughs> I got carried away I wanted to make four but I made five and I got that raffia that's why I picked uh, Jessie Jane up and put her on the table she grabbed my raffia and drug it all over the craft room little devil anyway so I'm just cutting some off I'm gonna make it stick straight out like like on each side like cat whiskers so I just cut it there in the middle, put a little slit in the middle. I try to show y'all here about how big. And take my red, purplish raffia and my regular plain color raffia and take a zip tie and singe it together real tight. And then fluff it out and then that a cute bow. Oh my goodness. This almost looks like fall, y'all. I think this is like, um, oh, and then I take lamb's ear, and I love lamb's ear, y'all. I got it growing in my, not my yard, but it, it's in my yard. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just popped up different places in my yard. My husband got a vacuum around them. Not vacuum. Mow around them. Good gravy. And, yeah, it's pretty. I love it. It's gorgeous. I just always think of the Lamb of God whenever I use that and I don't know why I just do so I put my little bow down after all the fluffing and the flowering and the leaves going on and I put one of them little tiny solar wood flowers in the center of, center of my ribbon uh I, apparently I'm out of more lamb's ear there is I think this is so pretty y'all I really do oh my goodness it is so cute look at it I love that. I just think that's so, I don't know. It's just pretty. Oh, ain't that pretty. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, so right here, I got one of those silver, sorry if I'm blinding you, little trays from Dollar Tree. And what I do is with glass and, and stuff like that, made it I take my heat gun, remove the tag, and then take some goo gone, and it brings it the rest of the way off, and then take some alcohol. Man, that's a lot to go through to remove a tag, ain't it? But I'm going to take Mod Podge, and I'm going to put it all around the edges and the sides of it, because I'm going to be painting. You're like crimson. You're painting that thing red. You took that pretty silver tray and painted it red. Y'all see, it comes out cute. It looks good. It does. Anyway, so paint all around it. Dried up real good. Of course, I'm going to paint the back side because, you know me, everything's got to be just... Except I didn't paint the under cap of my bottle caps. Whatever. I want to show y'all. I got this new book from Walmart. It's 
scrapbook and paper. It's double size. I love their paper, those books. They're only like $5 and $5.88 for a pack. Look how beautiful that paper is, y'all. And I know me flipping through there doesn't do it any justice at all. But if y'all can see this paper, I love it. You could do cottage core, farmhouse, shabby chic. Even got some boho in there, y'all. I mean, it just kind of goes with everything. It just, it's gorgeous. I didn't see the name on the front. Um, Modern Millinery. Yeah. So, anyway, I stuck my thumbs up because I liked that paper. I thought that'd go good with my little tray. So, I laid it down there flat and I took my pencil and kind of slid it around. It, of course, it's not going to stand up, so you're going to need a sharp pencil. Pimp. <laughs> anyway, pencil so you can get the outline of the bottom of your tray. And then I cut bigger because I know as soon as I cut it right on the lines, it's going to be jacked up. It's going to be more messed up than a soup sandwich. Have you ever tried to eat a soup sandwich? Exactly. You can't, or you can't, but that's going to be a mess. That's why it'd be more messed up than a soup sandwich. So anyway, glad I told you that story. I got that white wax um, by Waverly, <clears throat> and then Plaid sent me this home decor wax, but it says it's clear wax. And then I just said, Psh, whatever. And I'm just going to take the white wax. And I'm going to go around it to get it in the cracks. You could use paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I was afraid that paint would dry way too fast before I could wipe it down. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to bring out the detail around the edge of that tray. I wish I could have got the detail in the center. But, <clears throat> Excuse me. Silver just didn't color in my house, and um, you can't get the pretty out any other way. So I'm going to take some Mod Podge, and I use a lot uh, uh, of Mod Podge. A lot. Because I didn't know how well it papered stick to that metal, because I just don't know things. <laughs> I pretend to know things, and I try them, and then it works, and I'm like, yay, and it don't. I'm like, aww. Anyway, so I put Mod Podge on the top of it, too. <clears throat> And I go around the edges real good because I don't want my paint to chip. I don't know if it will or not. That wax mate, no, nah, that wouldn't help it. Oh, well, anyway. So I got my red Christmas beads there again. And I'm going to take four of them make me little legs. Now, feet, whatever. I suggest that, um, and I'm going to take plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to slap it over top of the beads to cover up that bright red. Anyway, kind of make a match of thing. I would suggest using bigger beads because these end up be way too little of feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Flip it over. And hot glue them on. You guys hear Abby growling? She's going to get them. Get them, killer. Anyway. Um... There it is. Now it is cute. And y'all are like, that's just nothing. But when you decorate it and put stuff on it, I think it ends up adorable. That's just my opinion, y'all. There it is. See? Isn't that cute? How it just adds a little something something to your area. Here's everything, y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Stay safe. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. In my description box, I will put a bunch of junk. Y'all can check it out. Um, Y'all be safe. I forgot what I was going to say. And I'll catch you later. Oh, my goodness. Mwah.